Here we are again as Chef Tony. We are going to talk about the infamous artichoke. Every single time I go to the store and I pick artichokes, I always have somebody over my shoulder asking me, what's that? What do you do with it? Or maybe they always wanted to have it, but they don't know what to do with it. Is artichoke is not a vegetable, it's not a fruit, it's a flower. Exactly, it's a flower. If you let it grow, it will bloom into a beautiful, very beautiful flower. At that point, it's no longer edible, but it's still beautiful. As the plant gets bigger, you, you'll see the little mini artichokes coming around. The baby artichokes that you see in the store, they are not from a different family. They are the exact same plant. They used to be discarded uh, and food for pigs, but now they're very valuable to everybody. Can never difficult to find them anyway. The dish I'm going to show you today is carciofi ripieni della nonna. You're going to stuff them with all these ingredients here and steam them upside down. Being the outer shelf here, the steam is going to get trapped and all those flavors are going to be trapped inside and just delicious. Why don't we get to it? Now I'm going to prepare a little stuffing and let it rest while we trim the artichokes. I'll use some of these Japanese breadcrumbs some garlic has been chopped very fine parsley also finely chopped and here have currants now should you not have currants it's totally fine to get some raisins white, red, the, the idea is to have, remember we're talking about something with a sweet aftertaste, so we're going to introduce a little bit of the sweetness of uh, the dry fruit. I'm going to drain those. I have about two tablespoons. I soak them in warm water and I'll put them in there. I toasted some pine nuts. And I'm going to sprinkle those in here. I like pine nuts, so we're going to use a little extra than the two tablespoons. Salt, pepper, to taste. I will add some olive oil to bind that. And some parmigiano or reggiano. For two tablespoons. I did the cheese at last, so I'm going to use the spoon and mix everything. And this will be if you should like, and if you want, you can add also some white wine to this. But this is what we have. And we get to our artichokes. So now, this is how you get them. I like to get with a nice stem. It's another indication it's fresh. The stem is nice and hard and not bendy, mushy, like a flower, fresh flower should be. If you got all the flower and it goes like this, you know. Since the outer parts are not really edible, I'm gonna take some of those, not too many. And that's it for that, another one. I'm going to trim the base. And expose the white part, which is probably the best part. Here we have it. Time to take some of the green part out. point I'll take about an inch off. I will take one third 
the, the, the top, I will cut it off. And this is what we have. I will loosen it up and with a spoon, you can use a spoon or a melon bowler. You go in there and try to take the, the purple stuff part of it. And the beard part, and not part of your dish. Sprinkle a tiny bit of salt, give it all oil, and take some of our beautiful mixture here and scoop it in the middle and tap it down. And this is what we're going to do with the rest of them. So at this point, I'll coat the bottom with olive oil. We don't need to put any garlic, anything, because everything is in the stuffing. One sweet, sweet move, and I go down. Nice and star, snug, has a little bump, so it goes in. Now we don't want to burn, so I'm going to go down with the fire a little bit. Get some uh, nice chicken stock. As soon as I see the action happening here, I'm going to go. the green part, not of the stem. Turn the way, green part up with chicken stock. Close it. Let's put it in the back. And there you have it. Go here. And it's all about the waiting game. Here we are. Got our nice artichokes. Nice and tender. We are going to test for tenderness. You can tell it goes right in. Nice and tender. Chopped parsley. This is a fig infused balsamic glaze. Touch of olive oil. And here's your artichokes. I'm putting a little vinaigrette here. It's a balsamic infused vinaigrette. Olive oil, balsamic. A little red wine vinegar, touch of lemon, that as you peel away the leaves, a little dip in. Mm. The first layer, you're gonna have a lot of pulp on the inside. The outer leaf, it's tough, and so what you do is you just scrape everything off. all the succulent meat. But as you go towards the center of the artichoke, the more, the lighter the leaves get, the more the entire thing is going to be edible. The, the more tender is the, um, the whole thing. So as the first few layers are going to be like this, towards the center, you just get to the heart of it. And then you can even at the point that you get to the, um, the part right above the stem, that part you could even spread on a nice crusty, uh, rustic bread and make your own little spread, artichoke spread. Hmm. I can marry an artichoke. Fantastico. Enjoy it.
Peace.